Oh, hey, Arlo. Hey, Trinity. Check out my food truck. Wow, Arlo. Thanks for showing me what a day in your life looks like. It looks so fun. Well, yeah. It looks like it's all fish fun and games. And it is. But you know, I have days I get up, run out the door with a thousand thoughts running through my head. Things I want to do, ideas that I have, remembering things that happened to me. And then suddenly, boom! A memory pops in my head of something I did years ago. And I still feel embarrassed. Does that ever happen to you? We've all done things we aren't proud of. And sometimes we can feel guilty or ashamed of those things. So what am I supposed to do when I feel that? Do I just hide in my room under the covers? We all do things that are wrong, and sometimes we feel shame because of them. The Bible calls that sin, when we decide to do what we want to do instead of what God tells us to do. Let's open the Bible and see how Jesus, God's son, forgave someone, even when no one else thought they should be forgiven. This story comes from the second part of the Bible, from the book of Luke. The Bible is God's true message to us about himself. Let's check it out. Jesus forgave a woman. A man named Simon invited Jesus to his house to eat with him. Simon was a Pharisee, an important church leader. Many of these leaders believed they were better than others. Jesus was different. He spent time with people that others looked down on. He cared about people others were not kind or welcoming towards. While the people eating together were around the table in Simon's house, a woman in the town who was a sinner came up to Jesus. She was crying and she started washing Jesus' feet with her tears. She wiped Jesus' feet dry with her hair. She then took a bottle of perfume and poured it on Jesus' feet. Hold up, this woman just came up and washed Jesus' feet? Why did she do that? A lot of times, it was normal for people to have dirty feet because of the dusty roads they walked on. Sometimes a servant would wash the feet of the welcome guest to show honor and respect. But this woman came to show Jesus and everyone around him just how much she loved him. She didn't just come to wash Jesus' feet with water. She washed his feet with her hair and then poured really expensive oil on his feet. I think I might understand. Uh, let's keep going. I want to see what everyone else said. Simon said to himself, if Jesus really is who he says he is, he should know what kind of person this woman is. She is a sinner. Jesus told Simon a story about a man who had two people that owed him money. One person owed a huge amount of money, almost one and a half years pay. The second person owed only about two months worth of pay. The man in Jesus' story forgave both people what they owed. Jesus asked Simon, which of the two people did he think would love the man more? Simon said, the one who was forgiven more. You're right, Jesus said. Looking at the woman, Jesus spoke to Simon. When I came in your house, you did not wash my feet. But this woman with her tears washed my feet and dried them with her hair. You did not pour oil on me, but she put perfume on my feet. Her many sins have been forgiven. That is why she showed me this kind of love. The one who is forgiven little, loves little. Then Jesus told the woman, your sins are forgiven. Go in peace. This woman showed Jesus how important he was to her life by showing him honor and respect. Jesus didn't have to think about her sins, weigh them out on a scale, and then decide whether to forgive her for the things she had done wrong. He was ready to forgive all her sins the moment she asked for his forgiveness. The woman probably felt unwanted because everyone thought that they were better than her, but Jesus didn't do that. I love the part where Jesus told Simon that because she had been forgiven a lot, she loved Jesus a lot. We should feel that same love in our lives when we ask Jesus to forgive us. We've all been forgiven for the wrong things that we do. I don't know. I made some wrong choices, but I wouldn't say I've done a lot of bad things. Well, that was kind of Jesus' point with Simon. He didn't think he was as bad as the woman, but really it only takes one wrong choice to need God's forgiveness. We all choose to do our own thing instead of choosing to do what God has told us is best. That is sin. And the Bible says that everyone has sinned. None of us are perfect, but Jesus is perfect and is ready to forgive us. All we have to do is ask. You know, I'm starting to understand why that woman washed Jesus' feet. His forgiveness changed her life. And the best news is that Jesus is always ready to forgive us too. 